Located in Genesee Township, just outside Flint, Michigan, the Huckleberry Railroad operates steam tourist trains along a small section of restored railroad right-of-way that was once part of the Pere Marquette Railroad. While this was initially a 4 foot 8.5 inch width standard gauge rail line, the tourist operation utilizes 3 foot width narrow gauge tracks. The railroad and neighboring Crossroads Village are both operated by the Genesee County Parks Department. As the story goes, the railroad got its name because the trains are slow enough that it was said you could jump off the train, pick some huckleberries, and jump right back on again, a practice that is now greatly discouraged. Two steam locomotives called the railroad home. Alaska Railroad No. 152 was built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in June of 1920 as a 4.60 wheel arrangement. 152 was used in the early days of the Alaska Railroad out of Fairbanks, Alaska before the line was fully converted from narrow gauge to standard gauge. It came to the Huckleberry Railroad in the 1970s and has been pulling park goers around ever since. The Denver and Rio Grande Western 464 comes from the once vast Rio Grande narrow gauge railroad system in southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. Built in 1903 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works as a K27 type 282 locomotive, the 464 operated all over the Rio Grande narrow gauge before being retired in the 1960s. Knott's Berry Farm Theme Park in Southern California purchased the locomotive in 1973 to run on their ghost town and Calico Railroad. After it was discovered that 464 had issues with some of the tight clearances in the park, the locomotive was put into storage and eventually sold to the Huckleberry Railroad entering service in 1990. One point of interest about the 464 is that it is an outside frame locomotive. This means that the locomotive frame is actually wider than its wheelbase, giving it quite a bulky and waddling appearance. As a result, the K27 class locomotives were given the nickname Mud Hen. In January of 2019, a special photography session was held at the railroad by Laro Productions to capture images of both locomotives pulling trains of passenger cars over the railroad. 464 was scheduled to be pulled from service for planned boiler work that year, so this was to be the last opportunity to see both locomotives steamed up together for quite some time. While there was surprisingly no snow on the ground, the sun was out and the temperatures were plenty cold enough to produce some fantastic steam clouds. We'll watch the 152 and the 464 running solo before being used together on a special double-headed train in the fading light.
Thanks for joining me for this look at the Huckleberry Railroad. For more information on the railroad in Crossroads Village, visit GeneseeCountyParks.org. To find out more about photo events put on by Lero Productions, go to LeroPhotography.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to let me know, please hit the like button and leave me a comment below. You can also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you'd like regular updates whenever I post a new video. I'll be back next Friday with another railroading adventure right here on the YouTube channel. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.